everybody welcome back to elizabeth journals i'm elizabeth and today we are going through ellen's custom bullet journal if you're interested in getting a custom journal made for yourself or for a loved one there's a link in the description there's also a link in the description to learn more about this specific notebook and the tools i use let's just jump into it so as you'll notice this is a a6 size notebook in the color royal blue it's a lutrum 1917. however the coloring for the inside does not match the cover that she chose the Title page is a red watercolor with 2020 planner written in it. And then she chose a theme of like honeycombs and bees. So despite this cover being red and the rest of her notebook being yellow and the outside of her notebook being blue, I did a little bumblebee uh, doodle in the title page to draw it kind of all together. Next, she chose the two page year at a glance. This is a 2020 January through December. Um, instead of doing a little bumblebee, I did honeycomb, so I kind of alternated between layouts, uh, yellow honeycombs versus the little bumblebees. And I don't know if the camera can see it, but because she chose yellow as her color, I can't really use that for subheaders or for headers because it's difficult to see. So I kind of highlighted all these subheaders with yellow. Next for her monthly pages, it's just a simple grid with the header vertically up the right side. Each of these monthly pages has some yellow honeycombs. They're placed kind of differently with different amounts of honeycombs each month. Next is just a blank to-do page with the line going across the top, to-do in print lettering. All of the to-dos have a B somewhere on the page. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. He's got some sinus issues, so he's snorting pretty loud. Um, next are the groceries page, set up exactly like the to-do, except for instead of a B, you've got the yellow honeycombs. Again, placed differently with different amounts every month. Following this is a notes page to mimic the to-do, and we'll have a bumblebee somewhere on the page as well. And that's the bulk of this notebook. I thought it was fun to switch up where the honeycombs and the bees go every time. Um, this is kind of the most basic you can really do with my custom notebooks. However, um, the only way you can go more basic is to not include the artwork. And this is more minimal artwork, but it is still not the most basic you can do. So I'm just gonna continue to flip through so that you can see all the placements of bees and honeycombs that I did. that was Ellen's 2020 Honeycomb and Bee themed custom bullet journal. Again, if you'd like something similar, there's a link in the description. And if you'd like to learn what tools I use to create this notebook, there is a link to a blog post in which I detail all of that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. See you next time.